Hello everybody. I'm up at my property. Um, here just for overnighter. Um, yeah, I'm going to test out a new shelter that I made. Or a new style of shelter. Um, I've seen a few around the interwebs. So I thought I'd make one up and come out today and try it out. And, uh, yeah. So. It's nice to get out. It's, uh, not too cold out today. It's about, I don't know, 10 degrees. The sun just came out. It's only uh, 10 to 11 now, so it'll probably warm up a little bit more. I got the dog with me. One of my dogs. The older one. And, uh, yeah, should be a fun day. So, follow along. Okay, so I got a pack full of gear. But, what I really came up here to do was try this out. This is a piece of, uh, I think it's, uh, I forget, I think it's 10 ounce canvas that I got and I sewed it into a big sleeve and what I'm hoping to do is uh, turn it into a bed for the night. So I saw a few videos and some pictures on the interwebs about this and what you're supposed to do is you make uh, two tripods stick two sticks through here through the big sleeve and it rests on top of the tripod um, so yeah so I'm gonna walk around find some poles to cut and uh, try and make a shelter out of this let's get to work As you can see, I also made a little sleeve for my saw. Okay, time to get to cutting. So I'm hoping that this uh, first dead tree that I found uh, will make the first tripod.
All right. Tripod number one is up. And it's strong. So, yeah, I feel good about that. That's awesome. So we gotta find another tree and uh, do it again. Yeah, let's get to work. Look at the good boy. Who's a good boy? Yeah. Check this out. Yeah, you gotta be careful on my property because uh, the, it's very rocky area and the rocks are kind of like this, loose. So you think you might be walking on something solid and your foot will go through. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty <clears throat> I just did a really quick tarp set up just to keep stuff dry. The rain's coming lightly on and off and I'm just worried it's going to come down, as you can hear now. So uh, cut some firewood quickly just to uh, get a fire going and I'll uh, put that under there. And uh, yeah, let's get a fire going. Boil up some water, have some soup and uh, sandwiches. So, I've been kind of sick the past two weeks. I've had some bad stomach troubles, which has kept me from really doing anything. past two weeks.
Um, I got a COVID test. I don't have COVID. I didn't have COVID. So I'm getting way better, but still not 100%. I was supposed to uh, start a 10 day canoe trip today, actually, in Algonquin Park. But I've postponed that for a week, so I'll start next weekend. Just to uh, give my stomach some time to heal. I didn't want to be... Uh, I didn't want to be you know, three, four days into the bush and have a, an emergency. I made this bed thing a couple weeks ago and I was gonna come up the other weekend and do this video, but I just didn't feel good enough, so. Uh, yeah, I've just been, past two weeks or so, I've been uh, staying pretty close to home. Which kind of sucks because, you know, the thing about autumn, the fall, is it's the best time of year to go camping. You know, the temperature is perfect, the, there's no bugs really, so it's really amazing time to go be in the outdoors. The, the colors, unreal. But, uh, yeah, so I lost... And, but the thing about autumn is it's it's over as just as quick as it starts, right? <laughs> like it's a blink of an eye and it's it's over and <clears throat> so losing two weeks in the fall is really a big deal. But uh, you know, health is the most important thing. So I'm not really complaining. I'm just. Uh, Whatever. Now the sun's out. Crazy weather. It's beautiful blue skies all of a sudden. Gorgeous. It's turning out to be a gorgeous day. I was getting worried because the, the thunderstorms looked really bad. And uh, I thought I was going to have to pack it in for the day. So I've got my uh, two tripods set up, as you can see. And uh, I think I've made the tripods too big. <laughs> But uh, whatever, this is the first time I've tried this, so live and learn. I might have to cut them down a little bit because the cot itself isn't that wide. But I'm just going to lay this out and just see how, see if I got a good ink. Not, this bed's not for you, man. Dogs. Yeah, I think I've cut these way too big. In order to get them narrow enough, I think, yeah, I don't think uh, that the bed is going to sit, it's too stick to have to hold it up this way, so like, I can cut the tripods almost there, which is okay, it's better to cut 
Okay. So, I just need uh, two more poles, or three more poles, because I want to put a pole across the two tops of the tripods, and then uh, I can put a tarp over it. So, I just need uh, two poles. Oh, this one's too short. Yeah. Okay. If this one's too short, I could switch it out. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, MacGyver this for a few minutes and then uh, check back in. Yeah, so I definitely cut those first poles a little bit uh, too long. So I'm going to cut them about this height, a little bit shorter than me. And uh, see if that uh, helps. When it's too tall like that, I guess the, 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 the angle of the tripod for it to get any kind of stability is just too wide. And uh, it's wider than the bed. So I think maybe this will do a better job. If I bring it in too close, it's really too tall. And uh, there's no stability in the in the tripod. So, change the length, change the angle, and we should have a bed for the night. Let's try it out. That's way better. Now the bed will sit about here. This makes more sense to me. Yeah, that's the length. Awesome. So just one more tripod to do. We're good to go. I thought I hit record, but I didn't. I'm new to this whole thing, right? So as you can see, I got another pole. Uh, and I'm just setting up the bed now. So it's a little this part's a little finicky, I think. And it's gonna take some time to get it just right. I think we're almost there. This side here isn't really holding the weight for some reason. To be honest, I'm a little nervous trying this out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I can see it sinking in. So we're trying to pull together. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay.
Now that's really high, isn't it? I don't know guys, it's kind of sketchy. It's a long way down. Uh. My, my branches didn't break. Oh, that's really comfortable. It's really nice. Oh, baby. It's really nice. That's the nicest cat bed I've ever laid in. Oh, that's so awesome. I think it's a little high, but I'm not going to complain too much about it. That is so cool. I did it. Now it's time to spend the night there. <laughs> Look at that! Isn't that cool? When it rains, if it rains bad, you can uh, take the sticks out and drop the tarp. Maybe tie them at the end there. Use the other side as an entrance and an exit, but... Dudes! This! is Living!
plenty of room. Oh yeah, I meant to mention that uh, the one with a ridge line instead of a ridge pole because um, the poles had sticks and stuff through it and I didn't want to put a hole through the tarp. Um, so instead of risking putting a hole through the tarp, I decided to go with a ridge line a little bit safer. It's a little bit, it's a little bit flimsy, but uh, I think it'll do the trick for the night. So yeah, Ugh. I think I'm going to take a nap. That bed is really comfortable. It's almost more comfortable than uh, my bed at home. <laughs> for real. I passed out for about half an hour on it. It is amazing. That's kind of sagging in the middle. I don't know if I don't, I might not have it taut enough at the end, so I might, uh, I'm just worried about adjusting it because I have it just at the right height and, I, and I'm, I'm worried that if I start messing around with it too much uh, I'll screw everything up so anyway it's good for now look at doggo there all curled up yeah so one of the reasons why I wanted to build a shelter like the one I did today was because uh, I don't have too much uh, space here. I have seven acres, which is, I mean, it's a lot, but it's not hundreds and hundreds of acres. And uh, I didn't really want to build something that permanent. Um, I guess they're not that permanent, but like I didn't really want to build a lean-to or anything like that. One, because the resources here, like I don't want to cut down a lot of live trees, and uh, I think I would be uh, hard-pressed to find enough dead trees to build a half-decent shelter. Anyway. I'm just coming down to the waterfall, just gonna come check it out. The other cool thing too is I get to move that shelter around so that, you know, I can check out different areas of my property and figure out if I do decide to build some lean-to or something, figure out the best part of the property. Anyway, look at this epic waterfall. That's on that I have. Yeah, eventually, oops. <laughs> Yeah, eventually the missus and I would love to build a, like a, we have a cabin 
up there. It's just like a small trailer thing. Uh, there's no electricity up here. There's no cell phone reception. Um, but yeah, if you can see, there's a big cliff right there. That's a big cliff. I'm standing on a big hill. And we would love to build a cabin over that kind of hangs off the edge of the cliff or whatever on pylons so we can get a nice view of the waterfall. Yeah, that's the idea. Anyway, look at how freaking stellar this is. Yep, my little slice of heaven. This thing makes for a pretty good bench, too. Uh-oh, I'm flashing red for batteries. All right, I'm gonna go uh, find my charging doohickey thing, power bank, and uh, get this charged up for a few fires. All you're gonna miss is the fire dying down. Here's a quick shot of the fire. So, uh, I brought the wrong cable to um, uh, charge my big camera. I'm going to try the iPhone, but for some reason there's this weird feedback thing that happens between my new shotgun mic and my iPhone so I'm just this is just a test to see if it uh, works uh, yeah hopefully I don't get any of that weird feedback I can't really tell until uh, you know I can only tell after I rewatch my clip, so. Yep. It's, um, whoa. It's, uh, 556 and the sun goes down in about an hour. And it gets dark fast now. And it's overcast. So. Um, and the dog's trying to sleep under the bed now. <laughs> um, yeah. This is a really comfortable bench. I'm not going to lie. This is good, man. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that I came out and did this today. It was such a bummer, like I said before, you know, two weeks in September through m middle and end of September is, uh, you know, losing prime camping time. But, uh, yeah, health, health first, health first. But, uh, super grateful to be out today. And, uh, so cool that I got to make this cool bed I think it's so cool I saw Dave Canterbury do it on his uh, I think he's got a couple videos on it and there's a bunch of other dudes that did something similar one dude actually did ju he just took a blue tarp I think it was a blue tarp maybe it wasn't a blue tarp anyway he or maybe it was a canvas tarp and he just like sewed it up like a shoe or like he wrapped it around he, he did the he tied all the grommets together that's pretty cool. I'd do that. Um, the idea is that I'd also make a... Oh no, here comes the smoke. The idea is that I also wanted to sew a tarp and learn how to do... Um, you know, make some kind of waterproofing. <clears throat> 
but uh, yeah, it makes a good bench. And it's comfortable. It is so comfortable. I slept on it for half an hour, like I said. Anyway, now I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Um... Yeah. Hopefully my stomach is uh, in better shape next week and uh, I can go on that 10 day solo canoe trip. It's a trip that I've planned for a long time. I've, I've wanted to do it for a long time. When I originally thought of it, I wanted to do it on my motorcycle. I wanted to do a cross country thing. I still want to do that, but I traded in my motorcycle for a canoe and uh, now I'm going to do it as a canoe trip. Doesn't that look delectable? Stop the, trying to stop the flame from touching it. Now the bench is comfortable to sit on, but it's not that comfortable to uh, eat on. <laughs> so uh, I've decided to sit on the ground for my steak. Woo yep. Nothing is better The past two weeks, just because of the way my stomach has been, I haven't been able to eat a lot. Um, one, I haven't had much of an appetite, but two, actually, I'll save you the details. Just, uh, trust me, <laughs> I didn't want to eat a lot. So, uh, yeah, I, I get... I get I get weak really quick because I don't have a lot of for the first week that I wasn't feeling well I was eating maybe a banana and some like some broth some clear broth and that's all I was having um, I totally cut out coffee I had a headache for about two days but I haven't had coffee 
I, I slowly cut it out. I was down to like one or two. But the past few days I haven't had any. Um, yeah, apparently caffeine isn't that great for me. Um, so yeah, that's sad, but whatever. Hmm. But, I have my appetite back and I've been eating more the past few days. But, still. I was doing this workout. I had it down to half an hour. When I first started, it took about an hour. But, I do 50 rounds. And... In those 50 rounds, I do two push-ups, two squats, and two sit-ups. And when I first started, that's for a, a hundred of each exercise. When I first started, it took me about an hour. But I got it down to about half an hour. 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds break, or something like that. Something like that. Or maybe five second break. Anyway, I forget. I haven't done it in two weeks because I haven't been feeling well. But yeah, hopefully I can start doing that again. I do yoga in the morning. 10, 10 or 15 minutes. 10 minutes, usually. But, yeah. For those of you who don't know, I train jujitsu. And all the gyms had to close, right? Now, I know there's some crazy uh, underground training groups that you could be invited to. People, there was a lot of people that didn't stop training. Officially, you had to stop training, but jiu-jitsu people are cut from a different cloth. Uh, yeah, but I haven't trained. I haven't trained since my gym shut down. And, you know, I see on social media all these people training again. And I'm really torn. You know, the home training is good. But it's been, what, seven months now? I'm not participating in a sport that I love. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. And there's no end in sight, you know? So, I don't know. Like, I can't... I, I, you know, my mom's high risk. I don't even really go visit her, right? My dad's high risk. I don't go visit him. Why should I be training? I don't know. I feel really torn about it. Um, some gyms have opened my back up. Mine hasn't. The one that I go to, my coaches just said, not until, not until it's safe. And uh, where I live, we're in. They've declared the second wave, and they're. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to th do, think, or say. Um. I want to train, but. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Yeah, thanks for joining me for my dinner. It was nice talking to you. Got food is stuck in my mouth. Yeah, clean up and get ready for bed. <clears throat> so I'm all cleaned up. And I'm ready for bed. Uh, 
sun's gonna go down in about 20 minutes. It's a lot darker than it looks in the camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna uh, listen to a podcast and watch the fire. And I need my uh, I need my phone for that. And I can't have my phone and, and keep recording. And I'm out of things to talk about. So uh, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning for breakfast. And uh, yeah, and then taking this thing down. So awesome. This is so cool. Good morning, everyone. As you can see, the bed is on the ground. As you can see, there's some water pooling in my tarp. So, as you can imagine, it was a bit of a rough night. Uh, sometime in the night, the sometime in the night one of the legs broke one of the arms broke that held up uh, that did broke it didn't break totally in half it just snapped and it held me in place so let's see if I can't get where it broke on camera so it just broke I don't know if you can see it right there but there was a loud crack and uh, the bed sank a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, if you're wondering, if you're wondering, um, it makes a wonderful ground tarp, <laughs> the bed. So yeah, it's, it was a rainy night. I guess the rain picked up at around, I don't know, 2 or 3 in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we stayed dry under the the tripod setup. And it wasn't too, the rain didn't come down too hard. It was just pretty steady. Um, yeah, so I'm just debating if I'm really just, just going to pack up now and grab some breakfast on the road or yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I don't want to muck around with making a fire with all this wet stuff just for a cup of tea and some oatmeal so yeah that's uh I guess that's the end of the video guys thanks for joining me um, and yeah Get one last shot of doggo. So there it is. So there it is.